a big influence on me ever becoming a rally driver. Uh, you know, I, I loved rally as a kid. It didn't have much coverage in the States, but from what I could see of it, it was the motorsport that like spoke to me. And then Colin was the driver that really made it step up a whole nother level because of the way that he drove, the way that uh, he embodied the sport, the way he had fun with the car, that just spoke to me in such a different way than any other driver that I saw in the WRC. That's one of the things back in that time, like the WRC wasn't on TV for us. And I think for me that, that you know, finding those like VHS tapes and being able to experience those events and the story of winning that, that championship that year, I think those are the things that really made Colin's legend to me bigger than, than life. But the top moment of my career was actually racing against him. Uh, the second year that we raced X Games and you know we, we were doing this sort of head-to-head -head super special thing and uh, I, I forced him into rolling his car <laughs> and for me it was like man I just racing head-to-head -head against you know one of my heroes and actually he admitted to me that I had gotten ahead of him in the first part of the super special and so we came back together and he saw that he was behind me so he was pushing too hard and ended up rolling and I'm, it was just mind blowing to me that I actually somehow pressured him into rolling his car. In the first year he was actually trying to come up short on the landing of the jump so he could get off and because there was kind of a right turn afterwards so he landed sideways. And he should have just slid down and gone, but it caught and he rolled, but he still landed on the wheels in the right direction to go. So he just, I think he downshifted midair. <laughs> I'm sorry, mid roll. He downshifted mid roll to first. <laughs> took off. He took it all with a stride that he loved the sport, he loved coming over and competing in this fun X Games event. And, uh, but he, he, he let us experience and be able to be uh, with him and you know learn from him as much as we could. So it was very cool for us. So when Colin passed away, um, I was devastated. I, I was actually down in New Zealand uh, filming a project for DC Shoes. We were actually with my rally car with a bunch of snowboarders on a ski resort and I had just been texting with him and maybe a call and I had told him like you're really gonna like what I'm doing like because we had this shared passion about having fun with rally cars and I think I was still there when he passed away and I got the news you know and so I was just devastated. I had you know here was one of my heroes in the sport that I love, that I didn't become friends with, had competed against a couple times. And, uh, and you know, for me, it was a, a great experience and such a big learning experience too, to be around him. And then all of a sudden to have him be gone, uh, it was mind blowing really for me. I couldn't believe it in the beginning, you know, and especially since, <clears throat> I, you know, met his family and and gone and visited at his home in Scotland and and so everything was very personal for me. Uh, so to hear, you know, about all the events that happened uh, was really, yeah, I, devastating is a a very good word for that. I think. You know, the the biggest inspiration that Colin had on me was really just the flat out driving style of the 90s. When I got into racing rally cars, you had to drive them fairly neat. The more sideways you got, kind of the slower it was. But I wanted to drive really sideways. So for me, going out and doing the Gymkhana videos 
was sort of that expression of what I loved of rally from the 80s and 90s, but especially what I saw Colin doing. That's quite a beast. Uh, absolutely. This is uh, pretty much the funnest car I've ever driven. And can you tell me how you drifted? <laughs> oh, well, no, drift is a bit of a... Drift is not necessarily the right word for this, is it? Uh, I mean, uh, to, to be specific about it, it would be an all-wheel drive drift. Because uh, the term drift has sort of been adopted by the actual drift competition which community is only nowadays. Which drive. Which is basically rear-wheel drive. Uh, but really, you know, the actual art of really oversteering for function comes from rally, say, starting back in the 60s. You know, the, over the years, you know, sliding a car really became an art form yeah. in stage rally. Uh, and then the all-wheel drive cars came along in the 80s, uh, and then they really needed a handbrake, you know, to initiate and get those very powerful cars to slide around. Uh, and that's really what inspired me to do the things that I do. It really all comes from, you know, stage rally all the yeah. way back from the 60s, but a big influence in the Group B days. Mm -hmm. And then of course, like the Colin McRae days and Tommy Mackinnon days in the 90s. When I started in the mid 2000s, I really wanted to do what those guys were doing. But, you know, nowadays, when you're sliding a stage rally car, you're going slower. <laughs> So the yeah, idea is always yeah. to try and keep the car as straight yeah. as possible, but that takes some of the fun away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. and, that's but, why, but, but, and that's why I've been doing the, the Gymkhana stuff really on the side of everything else that I do and, and why we do the videos is because then I get to play with the car and really slide it around as much as I want and as much as I can. This is a bigger car than you've used before, longer car than you've used before. The principles are the, are the same, are they, presumably, for, for, for getting it sliding and keeping it dry? Keeping yeah, it yeah, basically this, this car, big V8, uh, but the drivetrain is based off what I use uh, for stage rally and rallycross. Okay. Uh, so it's an all-wheel drive system by Sedev with a center diff, a rear diff, and a front diff. And one of the reasons why this engine sits so far back in this car is that the drivetrain actually has to go around the engine. Oh, really? And the so front, front diff sits in front of the engine. So the weight distribution, is that fairly even? Is it fairly even? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit more in the front, but not much. And a 50-50 power split? Yes. And it's got a bar, and you still use that quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, this car itself is actually quite soft in its setup. When I started making the Gymkhana videos, I wanted the car to drive on tarmac the way that it drives on gravel, because gravel is stage rally is where I come from. So, you know, when you're driving down a stage and you stomp on the, on the brake to get into a turn, you know, the car automatically goes into an oversteer situation and then you control it through the turn because of the way. Yeah, it's very sad to announce the death of Ken Block, the rare icon died at the age of 55 in a snowmobile accident. Uh, we send our deep condolences to the family, friends and the fans.